Hey guys, so today we are scarifying this lawn. Now this lawn was made up of a premium grass seed turf. Um, it was laid a few years ago, but it builds up a lot of thatch and um, that thatch is built up. And with lawns like this, you need to scarify regular once or twice a year to keep that thatch level down. Now I can show you here at the side, the thatch. So we've got the soil down there. And then look at this amount of thatch here. It's about an inch and a half thick here. Now you've got surface thatch and then you've got some subsurface thatch. But in general, it's a lot of surface thatch. And these types of seeds, which are like fine fescues, they generally build up a lot of thatch, which is organic matter, old decaying grass roots and things like that, which sort of build up and then lay flat. And it becomes like a thatched roof. And that thatched roof holds moisture like a bath sponge so i've been around with this scarifier which rakes that spongy thatchy layer out and i've been around the edges now here it's really spongy when you walk on it your foot sinks in but now it's firm and this is the idea we're exposing soil we can just see the soil there now and this is perfect but once we get around to the shaded sections it's very mossy down this side, so the moss tends to creep in. And when it's really mossy, the moss competes for grass for the same space, and the moss tends to take over in the shade. And this is why there's huge mountains of moss, which you can see. Now, the problem is, when you don't scarify regular, the moss takes over. And then by the time you've scarified, it ends up being quite bare and you end up needing to overseed. So you have to do it regularly. It's really important. So I'm going to crack on. It's going to get scarified as many times as it needs. Hopefully two. Um, we'll see how we get on with the first pass. I mean, there's plenty coming out. That top section scarified really well with just one pass. So we'll see. We're going to run the scarifier over, clear up, see what it's like. And if we need to go over again, we will. Right, let's crack on. Got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive Time that we share makes it all worthwhile. Got this place on our own. Do you feel that like we got something strong? And I saw you.
seen anything like this before you may be horrified but believe me when i tell you that six weeks from now this will be pretty much back to normal because the grass will grow the grass will recover and it will start looking nicer and because we have put grooves in the soil we've gone down through the thatch and we've scraped into the soil now when it rains, the rain can get down to the roots instead of being stuck and hanging around in thatch, which also leads to disease. So the grass is going to be happy because it's getting a much needed drink when it needs it. So it's going to perform a lot better this year. Yes, it looks rough, but they always come back. And that's the key. Now where it's really thick with moss, it may not come back. You may need to chuck a few seeds down. But if it's a grass that sort of spreads, then there's every chance it's going to come back and thicken up. Depends on how fast you want it to happen. So, that is it. As I'm walking on it now, it feels firm. It no longer feels like a bath sponge. It's neat. It's tidy for the customer. Just that last mow makes all the difference. And it's amazing how, many, how much stuff we pick up as well with the mower at the end. I must have emptied that box two or three times. So it's amazing what's left on there. So there you go. Scarifying a really thick one. Now, there's little places where you think, yeah, we could go over again. But we have made an improvement. If we go over again, there's a chance we're going to have to do more seeding. Or the customer will have to do more seeding. As it stands now... There's every chance it's going to make a full recovery. So it's getting that fine balance. But now we have the thatch down to a good level, the customer's going to invest in a scarifier. And I've told him every spring and every autumn, run over with the scarifier because it will keep the thatch down. It will recover faster because you're doing it more often. It'll only take a couple of weeks to recover. And it won't look as bad when you do it. This looks bad because it hasn't been done for maybe three or four years. So there you go. Any questions or comments, you know what to do down there in the comments. Don't forget, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you again.